So what's the skinny on this new carbon tax that will be implemented in 2019? Essentially what's happening is that the federal government wants to tax people who pollute in Canada. Now the federal government did come out and say that they need each province to come up with their own individual plan in order to um, tax or have carbon tax. Now there's only four provinces that didn't have a plan in place that met the federal standards. So Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario and New Brunswick will be the four provinces that will be affected by this new tax in January 2019. All the other provinces currently have um, um, the tax currently in force. Although we don't know exactly how it will be tracked or reported or how you as an individual needs to file your tax return, what we do know is that there will be tax um, for each individual in Canada going forward if you use carbon. But what the federal government has also implemented is a carbon tax rebate. So for those who are being um, environmental friendly, they'll be getting a rebate on their tax returns. So although the carbon tax will affect many businesses, most times the tax I think will be passed through to the consumer. So when filling up um, your vehicles, on average, it's expected that it will cost you about $2 more per tank of gas. And to heat your house, it's expected that it might be about $8 per month in addition to heat your homes. I do also expect that overall cost of getting groceries, um, even getting your Amazon or your pizza delivered to your house will increase because of this carbon tax. So it's expected that the average cost per family will be between $200 to $400 per family in extra tax payable. However, the refund is expected to be on average between $250 and $600 per family in rebate. So depending what province you live in will depend what the tax is and what the rebate amount is. So once we do know how this will affect you as an individual when filing your personal income tax returns, we will let you know and be sure you're fully informed.